This video shows the proper installation, startup, and shutdown procedures for your Fisher MR95 and MR98 regulator. Section 1. Installation. Check regulator or relief valve for damage. Remove any debris or dirt in tubing or pipeline. Apply pipe compound to the external pipe thread for NPT bodies or use appropriate gaskets for flange bodies. Ensure gas flow is along arrow on body. Install piping to vent connection if remote venting is desired. If loading pressure is required, connect the loading pressure line to the one quarter NPT connection in the spring case. If loading pressure is not required, vent connection to atmosphere. Section 2. Startup. Ensure equipment has been properly installed. Make sure all block and vent valves are closed. Decompress control spring by turning adjusting screw counterclockwise. Slowly open valves in the following order. Loading supply and control line valve, if required. Inlet block valve, outlet block valve. To adjust the control pressure, loosen the jam nut. Turn the adjusting screw or hand wheel clockwise to increase outlet pressure or counterclockwise to decrease. Monitor outlet pressure with a test gauge during adjustment. Tighten the jam nut to maintain desired pressure. Section 3. Shutdown. Since regulator configurations vary, several shutdown procedures are presented here. Reference the appropriate procedure for your specific configuration in the instruction manual. Close the upstream block valve to the regulator inlet. Close the downstream block valve to the regulator outlet. Vent the downstream pressure by slowly opening the bleed valve between the regulator and the downstream shutoff valve. Close the upstream block valve to the regulator inlet. Close the downstream block valve to the regulator outlet. Vent the downstream pressure by slowly opening the bleed valve between the regulator and the downstream shutoff valve. Close the block valve to the loading pressure. Vent loading pressure slowly to release pressure in the spring case. Vent inlet pressure slowly through the bleed valve to release all remaining pressure in the regulator. Close the upstream shutoff valve to the regulator inlet. Close the downstream shutoff valve to the regulator outlet. Slowly open the downstream vent valve to vent downstream pressure. Leave the downstream vent valve open to vent inlet pressure and release all remaining pressure in the regulator by opening the upstream vent valve or by turning the adjusting screw fully counterclockwise. Close the upstream shutoff valve to the regulator inlet. Close the downstream shutoff valve to the regulator outlet. Close the block valve to the loading pressure. Vent the loading pressure slowly to release pressure in the spring case. Slowly open the downstream vent valve to vent downstream pressure. Leave the downstream vent valve open to vent inlet pressure and release all remaining pressure in the regulator by opening the upstream vent valve or by turning the adjusting screw fully counterclockwise. Close the upstream shutoff valve to the regulator inlet. Close the downstream shutoff valve to the regulator outlet. To avoid internal damage due to reverse pressurization of main valve components, bleed back pressure regulator inlet pressure first before bleeding outlet pressure.